Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Like many others, I was shocked to read the Auditor General's report yesterday. More than two years after the floods of 2013, this report says this tired PC government has no real plan in place for effective flood mitigation. Among other things, the AG chastised this government for not having update flood maps, not having adequate risk assessment processes, and not having systems to assess the cumulative effects of mitigation projects. In short, an overall lack of due diligence is taking place. So the Minister, why aren't you taking the proper steps to protect? Thank you. Let's hear from the Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, this government has acted uh, quite swiftly uh, for, uh, in the aftermath of the floods to undertake important risk mitigation strategies such as building flood uh, mitigation. Uh, this government has invested well over uh, uh, $100 million in the flood erosion control program. Uh, we've announced the program, which uh, will, you will uh, uh, see uh, money in the budget for the Alberta Community Resiliency Program. And we've continued to work with affected stakeholders along the Elbow River Shed and the Highwood River Shed on large flood mitigation projects. Thank you for supplemental. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, last year in High River, this government paid for two costly engineering reports on diversion plans, spent $30 million on flood mitigation projects, and now realizes that these original reports are, in fact, not acceptable. This stems actually from a third report from a company called Del Terrace, which has now been accepted as a preferred solution. Now, we all know we need to get to the right result here, but thorough, proven planning is part of that process. So the minister, has all this wasted time and money in High River due to apparent poor planning put this community at any added risk for this upcoming flood season? Honorable Minister. Mr. Speaker. It's been hundreds of millions of dollars invested by this government working with the town of High River on the berms and dikes in High River to protect that community. That is action. That majority of that money was in place uh, for last year's flood season, and we are continuing to enhance this. These are very complex issues that uh, include impacts on upstream and, and downstream landowners and communities, of which there are also serious environmental impacts. We need to make sure we get this right, but we have moved and we have saw action on this. I do. Well, the same government recently proposed another theoretical diversion project in Springbank. When this plan goes forward, it will render acres and acres of rich farmland, prime development property, to be a point of sterilization and leave Bragg Creek actually unprotected. We all want to protect our communities, but the Auditor General's report is clear. Not only does this government not have a plan, it doesn't even have the tools and capacity to make a plan. To the Minister, what different steps are you taking to ensure this Springbank project won't end up like the costly projects in High River that are now being replaced? Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, first this member is arguing that we are taking action, and then he's arguing that we shouldn't be taking on action for a project that makes the most sense based off of all the studies and materials that we've been able to gather up to this point. This, this Premier has been very clear. It's time for action. All of the studies and feasibility studies and environmental assessments that have been done suggest the best plan to protect the communities in Calgary from flooding is the, the development of the Springbank Reservoir, and we're moving forward with that project, Mr. Speaker. 